Hey, hey, hey. So we are back with another video. We're gonna be talking about the five fragrances that I own that I like the least. I just wanna clarify, I love all my fragrances. They all smell really good. These are just ones that I would tend to use a little bit less or I just wouldn't find them as appealing as some other ones there, you know, whether it's the lack of potency or just the way they smell, but I do use them from time to time. These are just the five that I came up with for now, just to kind of give you guys an idea of kind of what I don't use and kind of some things you should watch out for when determining whether you should buy a fragrance and what you should look for. Just to keep in mind, the last one might surprise you guys. So if you are curious, leave a comment down below as to what you think it might be and whether or not you guys agree or disagree with it. Let's jump into the video. We're starting off this list with kind of more of a popular one, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. It's a toilette, so it's not gonna be as potent. I mean, it's still versatile in every way, but just the reason why I don't like this one is just because it's not long lasting. I would say about 20 minutes after I put it on, I can't even smell it anymore. And there's just a better variant, the light blue intense. So why get this one when you can get a better version, the um, light blue intense, which I also have. This next fragrance that I'm gonna be mentioning will probably cause some conflict between you guys because it is a popular pick. And a lot of people like this one, but unfortunately it's just not one that I wear too often. Spice Bomb Extreme. The reason I don't like this one is just because it's way too potent, it's way too strong and overwhelming. It's not as versatile as I would like. There's only really a few settings where you would wear this and it would actually make sense. You can't wear it to the club, you can't wear it to the bar, anywhere. It'd just be overwhelming. It's too strong and it's not versatile enough. Next we have one that I probably wouldn't even consider a fragrance, like one of those top tier. It's not a designer, it's called Noor by Bath & Body Works. It was one of my first picks uh, growing up as a teenager. I think I only wore it like maybe 10, 20 times, so it's not really one that I enjoy that much and I never wear it these days anyway. It's really, it's, it, it lacks in potency and the smell is just, I think it's just trying too hard to be like other fragrances. And it was cheap, so I mean, it's not like I should have expected much from it, but yeah, Noir by Bath & Body Works, it's just doesn't do it for me. One of the first fragrances that I actually got, I got recommended by the salesman, Gentleman Reserve Privé. He told me that it kind of smelled like a Tom Ford Oud Wood. That's what I was looking for. I'm not sure if that's true. I've never smelled Oud Wood. Uh, comment down below if that's correct or not. I'm not sure, but it's very potent and it's a very strong scented fragrance. Kind of more like an old man fragrance, I would say. So if you're someone maybe in your 50s going up, I would recommend this fragrance for you. I'm just not into the old man scented fragrances. FYI, don't get a fragrance from a store. They upcharge it because they're trying to make commission. They always oversell it. Get it online. Go to a store just to smell it. Once you find the fragrances that you like, go online and shop for them on there. They're way cheaper and you don't have to be hassled by some loser salesman. The final one that I'm gonna be mentioning today, the most controversial I would say, is Dolce Gabbana the one. And this was a very hard decision simply because I do have a lot of good fragrances, but it came down to what I was using and what I was not using. And unfortunately, Dolce Gabbana the one is just not the one that I use. I mainly use it for when I go to sleep. It's very relaxing. Other than that, I don't really wear it out. Unfortunately, I'm just not in situations where this would be viable for me to put on when there are better options. And it's also not very long lasting. I would say maybe up to an hour, two hours. If it's on your skin, if it's on your clothes, it might be a little bit longer, but unfortunately it just doesn't last as long as I would like. It doesn't fit in many situations. I would say maybe a bar, a lounge. Aside from that, there's better fragrances to fit. So that is gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please make sure to leave a like, guys, if you found this content helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video.